Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Holly awakens with one thing at the forefront of her thoughts while Tate recoils from an open door on account of his folks while going through the recreation area, Alex in a real sense catches Kristen, who's speed strolling. When she gets some information about Jeannie Teresa Donovan, no joking? Is that actually her name? He illuminates her she moved back in with Brady. He relates Teresa finding the wedding band he purchased, yet never provided for her. Despite the fact that he assumes he cherishes her on occasion, he understood proposing could be a tremendous misstep as a result of her recuperation. Kristen taunts him, accepting he just suffered from sudden anxiety. What's more, presently, it's messing up her opportunity with Brady. Alex calls her preposterous in the event that she assumes she has a potential for success at reuniting with him. At John and Marlena's, Brady gets Teresa Espresso the family room. As they examine their terrible encounter with Tate, Teresa overlooks a text from Alex, however enthusiastically answers a call from Tate. Over his dissent, she puts him on speakerphone. Tate says a spot opened up for him in a shelter in Salem. He's telling them in light of the fact that Justin told him to, however he would rather not go. Nicole and EJ bolt up conscious in bed after hearing Holly call out for her mother over a screen. They hurry into the room where Holly lies in bed with her eyes open. EJ hurries to call Sarah as Holly pitifully inquires as to whether the party finished. Chad finds Sarah eating alone in the square. As he sits with her, they examine the fire and the children. At the point when he gets some information about Xander, Sarah wildly protects him. She is certain he's seen the light and has changed. Chad realizes the light is her. Sarah counters that it's Victoria, however one way or another, they need EJ to accept he's changed also. EJ calls to tell her Holly awakened. Sarah surges off. Via telephone, Tate furiously tells his folks he would rather not be near them since they didn't trust in that frame of mind to battle for him. Teresa begs him to allow them an opportunity to demonstrate in any case. He says he'll think regarding it and hangs up. Brady faults Teresa for Tate's mentality. Figuring out she had some awareness of the virus letter he kept in touch with Brady set him off. In the square, Chad happens upon Stephanie asking Tom and Alice's plaque for guidance on what to do about Everett. Chad clumsily hinders and tells her he is familiar with Everett. Well, Bobby? He embraces her and inquires as to whether she trusts him. Stephanie doesn't have any idea what to accept. He welcomes her to go with him to the Horton house while he takes photographs for the protection agents. In the recreation area, Kristen demands to a distrusting Alex that on the off chance that she needs Brady back, she can get it going. She's going to Brady's at this moment. What's more, assuming Alex needs his bedmate back, he'll be there as well. As Brady and Teresa battle at John and Marlena's, Kristen thumps on the entryway. Faking shock to find Teresa there, she snarks at her. At the point when Teresa leaves the room, Kristen gives Brady the taped together card Rachel made for him yet tore up. Brady values the signal. Kristen proposes he advise Rachel face to face to show their girl they can sort out things. But they never do, he says. Kristen figures they can put in more effort. At the point when Brady ushers her out, he tracks down Alex on the opposite side of the entryway, similarly as Teresa gets back to the room. Alex attempts to account for himself to a cold Teresa, provoking Kristen to recommend she and Brady go get an espresso. Brady counters that both Kristen and Alex leave. As the foursome squabble, Tate calls Teresa. He concurs she can put him on speaker as he tells his folks he's consented to go to the asylum in Salem. Subsequent to hanging up, Teresa and Brady enthusiastically embrace. Alex and Kristen glare. In Holly's room, Nicole tells the confounded youngster she was harmed and was in the emergency clinic, however she's home at this point. Holly again inquires as to whether the party finished. EJ returns, and afterward, Sarah appears. In the wake of analyzing Holly, Sarah secretly lets Nicole and EJ know that she looks great, yet she might want to do more far-reaching tests at the medical clinic. At the point when Nicole goes to get Holly ice chips, EJ timidly says thanks to Sarah for coming. 
he realizes he's not her number one individual at the present time. Sarah rigidly lets him know she's there for Holly, not him. She shields Sander, however EJ counters the realities are not on his side. At the point when Nicole gets back with a bowl of ice, she finds EJ's left and Holly's dozing. Sarah takes note of it's difficult to accommodate EJ, the gushing stepfather, with EJ, the DA who will not consider Xander could have been outlined. Nicole realizes reality will become obvious. Holly blends conscious prior to falling back sleeping. Sarah is certain she'll make a full recuperation, however will presumably require non-intrusive treatment. Since they're both with men who live in the hazy situation, Nicole offers to tune in if Sarah at any point needs to talk. Sarah might take her up on that. At the Horton house, Stephanie wonders over the fire harm. At the point when Chad raises a memory of Abby in the lounge, he is sorry. Stephanie guarantees him it's fine in light of the fact that not exclusively was Abby her cousin, yet she and Chad are companions now. They discuss how the children are adapting before Chad takes out his telephone for pictures. Chad gets a call from EJ, who lets him know Holly's conscious. Chad's excited. EJ then transfers their nothing surprising about the incendiary, however commitments to keep on it. Subsequent to hanging up, Chad informs Stephanie regarding the call he got undermining him during the fire. He has no question it was from Clyde. He then, at that point, shows her the easy chair that wasn't moved by the fire. They kid about not having any desire to contact it, consequently contaminating it. He transfers that Julie will remake around it. EJ gets back to Holly's room after Sarah's left. He folds his arms over Nicole as she destroys over Holly returning. Holly's at long last alert, what's next for herself and Tate on days? On New Year's Eve, Holly Jonas OD'd on polluted narcotics, and she's been in a state of unconsciousness from that point forward. In the Wednesday, February 28th episode of Days of Our Lives, Holly at last awakened. Also, presently, this part of the Salem drug pestilence story can push ahead. Anyway, how might this improvement affect Holly as well as Tate? Holly's enlivening since Nicole, Ariane Zucker, and a senseless Holly, Ashley Puzimus, got back from the Italian clinical office entrusted with recuperating her, the youngster has been resting easily at the Demera house. At the point when she awakened, she gave indications of disarray and thirst. She inquired as to whether the party was finished thus, obviously, she doesn't understand time has elapsed. Dr. Sarah Horton, Lindsay Godfrey, kept an eye on Holly and exhorted Nicole that she expected to allow her little girl to recuperate at her own speed. Afterward, she'll make a beeline for the emergency clinic so that tests might be able to perceive how mended she is. Up to that point, Nicole, EJ, Daniel Furigal, and Sarah were excited with Holly's advancement. Tate's disappointing dilemma the most disturbing thing right currently is Holly's memory issues. Indeed, this is normal, however Tate, Jamie Martin Mann, is turning out to be progressively disturbed with his circumstance despite the fact that he's going to move from the adolescent recovery office beyond town to a shelter inside Salem city limits. Tate's outlook shifts back and forth among outrage and dissatisfaction since he knows he's honest. However, he's out of persistence with his folks and, thusly, nearly hurt his opportunities for somewhat more opportunity since he would have rather not been drawn nearer to Brady, Eric Martzolf, who's going to pause dramatically with a portion of his castmates, and Teresa, Emily O'Brien. According to his viewpoint, they're not contending energetically enough for him. Sadly, he's the person who at first set himself in a compromising position. What's more, it will take a wonder to save him. What necessities to occur the primary thing that needs to happen is the right inquiries should be posed of Holly. Tate is wagering on his companion awakening and recalling everything impeccably. Accordingly, he'll be cleared very much like that, and all will be generally good. It's basically impossible that this situation will work out as without a hitch and quickly as Tate and his family need. Also, regardless of whether Holly, figure out more about Pusimus here, recollects as soon as possible, there's the EJ factor. As Salem's DA, he's never going to budge on safeguarding Holly for the good of Nicole.